Hi, in this video I am going to cover operators. So here we have a comparison operator, logical and special where operator. We'll see one by one. So comparison operator compare a variable with a value or with another variable. So here we have these many variables. In later in previous videos you saw we are using here equals to operator. Right. So well, let me show you. So I'm reading a car in this example and you can see this is a comparison operator example. I mentioned a data one set sensor dot cars where origin EQ I mentioned instead of previously I mentioned equals to symbol. This time I mentioned EQ. So instead of symbol you can use these also EQ, NE, GT, LT. NE is not equals to GT is greater than LT is less than like this. Alright. So here in this example, I mentioned EQ Asia. So Asia is a character value, character constant value we mentioned here in quotation mark we have to mention. So here you can see there were 158 observation read from this data set, Sassel.cars where origin equals to Asia. In one we have 158 observation and 15 variables. I created one data set in work library. Here you can see we are getting only Asia. So few I will tell you few you have to try. So any I'll tell you here again not which is a not equals to instead of any you can mention this symbol also. This time I'm reading a class data set. So in class we have a sex variable. I'm using that so where sex not equals to m again m is a character one so we mentioned here in quotation mark there's no error there were nine observation read from this data set where sex not equals to male right so we're getting female on female student we are getting data all right so gt and lt you can try it in class data set we have so many variable numeric variable so there you can use this gt and lt okay i'll show you ge now which is the greater than or equals to so in class data set only we have one more variable age so i mentioned here a where age greater than equals to 14. so in three data set we are getting greater than 40 or equals to 40. Okay, total nine observation we got. So I showed you GE, which is greater than equals to. You can try it LE. Now I will tell you in operator. So we, uh, next example we are using here cars data set, where in cars data set we have a origin variable. Let me show you the first data set. So you can see these many variables we have in here we have one variable origin in origin we have a three value asia euro and usa right so there's a list of values suppose i just want to select only asia and usa i don't want to select euro so i can use here in operator so i mentioned here where origin in we have to mention the value in bracket okay and inside this Asia and USA we mentioned so Asia is a character variable right Asia and USA so we have to mention in quotation mark and that value is separated by comma okay or you can use your space to separate the value here we got there were 305 observation read from this data set and in 4 data set we are getting 305 variables and 15 variables so 305 observation and 15 variables here you can see we are getting asia and usa there's it's not showing the arrow so this is how it's working the in operator now we will learn the logical operator in logical operator we have three and or and not logical operator combine or modify expression okay we'll see one by one here so in, in this uh, example, I mentioned only one condition. Suppose now we want to mention multiple conditions. So we can use here logical operator. So in this first example of logical operator, here I'm reading a class data set. And in class, 
question yet. So in class data set we have five variables name, sex, age, height and weight. Okay. So I give a condition here where sex not equals to male or age equals to 14. Alright. So I give a two condition here. First condition is not equals to male. So we'll select only the female one. Right. If we are not getting female one, then it will check the another condition which we have age equals to 14 of okay now here first it will read the first observation let me tell you one more thing here see from data statement to the run statement there is a one iteration we have an iteration it depends upon the number of observations suppose we in class data set we have a 19 observation so it will iterate 19 times so this date from data step to run statement there is a one iteration when it hit the set statement it will read the first observation where we have this one sex value is male m and age value is 14 okay then it will check the condition also when it hit the where statement when i mention sex not equals to male is it a not equals to male the condition is true no right we are getting a male male here so this condition first condition is not true then it will check the another one why because we mentioned here all operator right so the condition either this one or this one actually match so i mentioned here age equals to 14 here is it equals to 14 yes it will it's equals to 14 so it will select this first observation okay so this is how it's working this or operator so there were 11 observation read and in 5 we are getting 11 observation 5 variables we are getting first condition is not true here second is true and here first condition is only true so it will not check the other one here also first condition is true female we are getting here also here is um, male we are getting so it's not true then it will check the next condition where I mentioned which age greater than 14 or equals to so we get it selecting 